It's four o'clock, my friends. Your tech concierge here with some exciting anchor information for you guys. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. I'm your neglect your tech concierge here every day on Periscope, on Anchor, sometimes on Blab. You'll find me all around. But every day I'm available for you. And how's everybody? Flip. Guys, what's going on with the flip? Um, we got to fix that. How you guys doing today? So good to see you. I got people coming in the room from Anchor today. We are multimedia, multi-live stream type community. And uh, how many of you guys that are in the room are on Anchor now? Show me a one. That would be fabulous. I'd love to see that you are hanging out on Anchor. The Dominic Jones. Do you have Anchor yet, Dominic? I know you've been traveling, so I'm not sure what you got going on there. But uh, if you've tried Anchor, great, not yet. iOS device. I don't know if you're using iOS or whether you're on Android. Currently iOS. But uh, the great information is they are a responsive company. I got to tell you, they just released the new latest version, which is 1.04 came out today and you have a Galaxy yet. Yeah. I'm sure they'll be out with an Android version soon, but uh, currently uh, we in the Apple world are the only ones that get to enjoy Anchor. Anchor is a community that's growing. We have a lot of great people that are sliding in from the other live stream communities. Uh, a lot of people that are in Periscope that I know are over in Anchor as well. And we see a great synergy between the audio component of live streaming and the collaboration that we can do as well as the video where you get to see us and you know form this relationship that that you can't have in any other way voice and video always the most powerful periscopes my first love but i really enjoy the interaction we're getting catch the replay dominic have a safe trip on the train today i want to share with you some information that Anchor users are very interested in. I've had some interaction with people saying, hey, is there any way to preserve an Anchor wave that I've recorded? Okay, and there is, and I have a hack for it. Now, obviously, you can take your links and share your links. You can copy the embed code, and you can do whatever you like with that on blogs, on websites, create your own web page with it and embed. But if you'd like to take the raw audio and do something with that, perhaps create some type of collection, perhaps you'd like to download it into iTunes, put it on an iPod and listen to those, you can do it now and I'm going to show you how to do it. Anyone interested in the room today learning about how that can be done? Because I'm going to flip the screen around and I'm going to show you. So first of all, any Anchor users in the house? Because if you're not using Anchor, I want to tell you what Anchor is all about. Okay? Uh, do I have an Anchor user? Let me see a one come up. Do you have the option to tap a one? If you're on Anchor, and I know there are people going to be watching this on replay, so uh, I'm going to be sharing that out also in our Anchor group because I have an Anchor group on Facebook. Okay? Bit.ly slash Anchor on FB. Okay? So check that out but I'd like to show you how to take the audio component and preserve it as an audio file, an MP4, okay? You have the ability to grab it from the web page that you can grab from your link. So what you would first do is share out the link. You could send that link via email to yourself. That's one easy way to do it. So when you have a wave, just go into your wave on your phone and share that wave to your email. Once you get that link, you can copy that link and on your PC or Mac, I'm gonna demonstrate it on a Mac today. How many people have a Mac? How many people have a PC? Because I can demonstrate it both ways and I'll show you the differences, but I have it set up behind me here where we'll, we'll set it up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this around I'm going to just take this over to my other 
pad here. And if you don't mind, I'm going to take your landscape, okay? So bear with me. The screen is going to turn to the left, and we are going to be in landscape mode. And I will show you what we have on the screen behind me. This is a typical web page of one of my anchors, okay? Uh, one of my waves. And this is what would appear if you were to copy it and paste it into your browser. Let me just show you what the URL would look like. That's a typical URL, okay? And you can even do some experimentation. If you take that URL and change some of the letters and numbers around randomly, you'll find different waves that you may not have even known about. All you have to do, those last six characters in the URL, they reference any number of different waves that are randomly assigned these numbers. But this is the page you're on. So once you put that into your browser, and I'm using Google Chrome in this particular case, what you do, if you're on a Windows machine, you would place the cursor. You see my cursor right over here? You would right click on that and say View Source. Now on a Mac, you would hold the control key down and click, and you'll get the option here as well View Page Source. Okay? When you click on the View Page Source, you'll get something that looks like this. Now, let me take you into here a little bit. Let's see if we can get this expanded. This is the link you're looking for, the one that appears next to player, Twitter Player Stream. You'll see that in there. Ant302, thanks for coming in. We are demoing how you can archive the MP4 portion of your audio. It's actually an M4A audio file that you will retrieve. When you highlight this link, which I already did, simply click on that link, drag your cursor across till the very end. You could just shift click and you'll grab that. Now what you would do is copy that link. You could use control C, you could right click if you're on a PC and say copy. And if you go, that's command C, I'm sorry. And then your new tab will reflect the new file. You just copy that URL into the next tab and it will automatically download the file that you want. When it downloads that file, listen what happens when you double click on it. Victor Tech Concierge with another Tech Talk tip for Anchor. Consider this. Are you editing your captions on your replies? It could be helpful for those that are visually oriented, you know, obviously. Loads it right into your iTunes, gang. That's all you need to do. That file is now in your iTunes playlist, and it'll show up right in the list. So all you need to do is copy that file and drag it in. You're all set to go, okay? No problem whatsoever. If you're not using iTunes, no problem. You can play an M4A on different options, but uh, we do this, baby. What do you guys think of that? Interesting? Possibly useful for you? You can take that file, burn it to a CD, play it on a CD if you still use them, put it into a, any type of compilation, but the beauty of doing it this way is that it allows you to preserve the audio file. Now, of course, you can record your own audio anytime you want on an iPhone and just save the M4A. But if you're doing waves and you're interacting and you want to share them in any way, this is an easy way to do it. I'm certain down the road, if this is a requested feature, Anchor will provide it in a much easier to use format. But for now, that's what's going on. So, any questions about how we did that today? Any concerns? What I'd like to do is invite you back to Anchor where we're going to continue the conversation. I'd like you to know that every Periscope that I do has an associated Anchor wave so that anytime we get off of these broadcasts, any replay viewers can come to Anchor and interact with me, ask questions, interact with the other viewers, and you will have the ability to do everything you want to do by communicating 
with your voice. You won't have to type anymore in the comments. You won't have to do any of that. So that's what I'm excited to tell you today. This has been your Tech Talk tip of the day with your tech concierge. If we don't have any questions, I certainly would like you to join me over on Anchor and find me under my name, A-V-I-E, Uniglict. If you'd like to see my other streams, catch my latest Anchor Waves. I post them on my website at askavie.com. And I look forward to seeing you guys again on my next Tech Talk tip. You guys have a great day and make it a great day. See you soon. Bye-bye.